The images of corpses left in the streets of Guayaquil have been seen around the world. Bodies mounting while the port city collapses under the strain of the coronavirus pandemic. Some families are reportedly storing bodies in their homes. Authorities say they are now handing out thousands of cardboard coffins after funeral homes ran out of caskets. They've also created a helpline for families who need bodies collected. Soldiers and police have been brought in to help forensic workers who say they are recovering up to 150 bodies a day from the street or at homes amid the tropical heat. Cesar Galvez lost his father to the virus and waited days for the authorities to remove the body. It was 1 a.m. in the morning. They did not have ambulance. The firemen were not available either. So I asked them, who can I go to? What can I do now? And they said that sadly they could not help me. Others resorted to leaving bodies in the street as Guayaquil became the regional epicenter for the pandemic. Hospitals, morgues, funeral homes and cemeteries were overwhelmed by the number of deaths. But Ecuador's government has warned the worst may not be over. We're working to give everyone a decent burial in individual plots. The medical experts have told us they estimate the deaths in the coming months will be between 2,500 and 3,500 from COVID-19 just in the province of the Guayas. That's what we're preparing for. Ecuador's president, Lenin Moreno, says the official tally for COVID-19 deaths is underreported. Low levels of testing suggest the true figure is much higher. Dan Collins, CGTN, Peru.